once again if you're just joining us right now this is the morning market review by rally trainer and of course rally academy so this is the session we get to review the markets for you every morning between the hours of 8 a.m to 9 a.m one quality and solid hours of market analysis right so our aim is to come up with uh, tips and tricks on how to navigate the market profitably so that uh, you always be in profit okay that's our aim so uh, my name is emmanuel dogo i'm reaching from the beautiful city of port Harcourt, okay so uh please sit tight and we're going to start immediately okay all right so i hope you have fantastic internet connection so that we don't have we don't have challenges here in me okay all right then so just like we always do we like to look at the uh, fundamental events right unfolding on the global uh, financial market very important because uh, one of what one of the things you have to do as a trader is to always check for news right and there are several websites you can check for news several websites so uh, one of such websites is forex factory right Another website is investing.com. So you can use investing.com. So, so the website we normally use to check the event are Forest Factory. We normally use investing.com. So you can equally use uh, several of them. Even my Facebook, you can use that. Okay. So for this morning, I will just share my screen with you. I will show you invest uh, forestfactory.com. Okay. I'm able to share my screen with you. I'm sure you can see Forest Factory, right? So what, what one of the things you do every morning as a trader is to visit this website, right? Uh, for those of us new traders joining us, uh, to get to this website on your browser, you just type www.forexfactory.com. They will take you to this website. So this is the website we get to view fundamental events, right? All right, so um, try to keep it right from scratch because we have some new piece joining us. All right, so once you get to forexfactory.com, it opens up something like this for you. Now, usually to open up the, the the activities for that particular day. So once you click on this word calendar up here, it shows you it shows you the news for the whole of the week. So uh, our attention, our focus is always on this impact here. I'm sure you can see this impact these uh, colors here okay so the yellow is low impact uh brown is medium impact for the new ones joining us for today and of course the red is high impact mid. so our attention is always drawn to the high impact mid. so the high impact is the magnets we have here so it draws our attention okay so for today being uh tuesday the 27th of june we're expecting a uh, high impact news right that will actually move the market very well and that market and the the currency to affect is the canadian dollar okay and what time of course you can see it here 1 30 p.m so guys you don't want to snooze on this one right so you want to be awake stay awake stay at last stay at a lot okay so that you can take advantage of this particular one so cpi is simply consumer price index right so it measures changes in price of goods and services so consumer spending is one of the very key uh, indicator we use to know what is happening in an economy, right? Because consumer spending actually drives the economy. People have your money to spend. All right, so uh, if the result, yeah, so this is the result of the news, right? So we'll be expecting this result by 1.30 p.m. today. Okay, so by 1.30 p.m. today for the new bees joining us, there will be numbers here. There will be numbers here, okay? So if that number is uh, greater than this uh, forecast number, then it's good for the Canadian dollar. Uh, of course, if it is less than this, it's bad, right? So by greater than, I mean if the actual year, right? So this column is actual. If the actual year comes at maybe 0 0.6, right? So of course, you agree with me, 0 0.6 is bigger than 0 0.4, right? On the number line. 0 0.6 is bigger than 0 0.4 so that number will come out green so that means you have to buy canadian dollar right by 130 p.m to make money hmm? you buy canadian dollar 
but before that 130 pm you can still scalp candida dollar right you can see three but take notes by 130 pm this instrument called card will move very well so all of the currency pair that has card will be affected for example usd card card jpy euro card all of those card 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 will be affected okay it will be affected please uh, you want to even set an, an alarm, right, on your phone to remind you. Maybe you can set the alarm by one, one, uh, one, one o'clock in the afternoon, right? Such that you can have like the space of thirty minutes to come and prepare for the news. All right, then that's what we have for one thirty p.m. Then, of course, see today we have another high impact news called consumer confidence, right? Consumer confidence, and that's on USD. So also by one by three p.m. was we having a news on USD. So same thing here, please. Actual greater than forecast. So if it's good for the dollar, then of course the dollar will appreciate, right? So if it is bad for the dollar, the dollar will depreciate. We don't know what it will be for now. So we want to keep our finger crossed, waiting for three p.m. today in the afternoon. Okay. So if you have a trade already on USD. Make sure that trade is having stop loss and take profit. Okay, remember stop loss and take profit very important for trading success. Okay, most person trade without putting stop loss, always expecting it to turn. But yes, it does turn, but it doesn't turn all the time. Okay, so please always have stop loss whenever there is a high impact news like this because it can drive the market in any direction depending on the outcome. Okay. And you want to be very fast and you of course you want to trade this news with a lower time frame so you, you so you your normal time frame may be one hour maybe 30 minutes you want to go down to a lower time frame like uh, one minute or even five minutes just for the purpose of trading news remember we don't actually in quotes trade news we scrap the news you may want to write it somewhere if you're a new trader write it down we scrap the news that means we don't stay long trading news so because of that we don't equally use a higher time frame of trading news, okay? So you can use, uh, the highest you can use is 15 minutes, or you can use five minutes, or you can even use one minute to trade news, okay? All right, so that's what we are expecting for today. Now, but from now, this is just it, right? So we're going to look at the market in a, in a technical form, right? And of course, at the end of this, uh, this uh, at the end of your journey, uh, as a technical trader, you become a technical analyst, right? Technical analyst, which is good. All right, then. So I'll just switch over to my chat right now so that we can start the... Okay, someone is asking, uh, Chine Do, very fine in there. Say, is there everything that has to do with USD that the news will affect? The answer is yes. Gold equally has to do with you, and so it will affect gold. So that's your answer there, right? Now let me switch over to my chat. Now I can see that we have more persons joining us, right? So this is the morning market review rally trade, right? So this is this session holds from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. every morning. Okay. Thank you very much for joining us, this is Emmanuel Odogu. Okay, so let me switch over to my chat. Right now. So I am switching over to my chat. Thank you very much for staying with me. So I am on the chat right now. Oh, yeah. So please yeah. just do one, just type chat if you can hear me. So you're asking about US hundred, yeah. It also affects US hundred, okay? So make, make sure you have stop loss and take profit. So uh, I think I can see you there. That means we are right now on our chat. So you can see our chat. So uh, like the, the custom here is to look at First, you know, I normally start with uh, the U.S. index. So the U.S. index, as you can see at the top left here, USD IDX, right? So you also have it on your market watch. You go down, down the market watch, you get to see it. So, so you always look at this USD index for every time you want to trade any of the currency pair that has to do with USD, okay? That's to do with USD, okay? All right, so now this USD index measures the strength of the United States dollars, right, against a basket of other major currencies, right, like the euro of this world, the uh, Japanese yen, the New Zealand dollars, the Australian dollars, not 
So you want to know the two strengths of the dollar. You look at you look here. You look you look here. So now as a custom, like what we always do, you always check the news every morning. Now for you to also trade, uh, you also need to check the USD index. Okay. So now you can check the USD index on several time frame. It will be uh, it will be good. Okay, someone is asking in your bomb, is it, it took is it advisable to place a sell order and buy order of a particular pair at the same time? Now, if you place uh, a buy and sell order on a particular pair at the same time, that's called edging. That means the buy is edging the sell, the sell is also edging the buy, right? So it means uh, you'll be making profit if the market is going upward, trading to the upside. You'll be making profit on the buy, right? Now the sell will be taking that profit. So that means uh, you have locked up the trade. Mm, you have locked up the trade. So it's not advisable, except you have built a strategy around it. Uh, <laughs> one of the strategies you can build around it is uh, maybe you place buy and sell, then maybe the price move up to a verified resistance, right? So that means the buy should be your profit then uh, you can now close the buy right then of course wait for that resistance to act on the price and of course you can see verify resistance on the higher time frame right so wait for the price to act on the wait for the market to act on on the movement so of course when the price start going down that means the negative on the sale will not start reducing now please it's not advisable uh, except you have you have built a successful strategy around it. So that's for you in your bomb there, so we can continue, right? So from what we have here, you, you can see that uh, the instrument is still, has been trading to the downside, right? So if you have been following up this analysis, you notice we normally use market structure analysis for this, okay? So this is a movement to the downside on the H4 time frame, And of course, this is a retracement to the upside, right? So this is like, uh, ABCD in trading right now, ABCD, right? So this is another push to the downside. We gave us a break of structure because it actually went below this low, right? So that means the downtrend is still successful until we had this change of character here, shift. So the, normally the market is not supposed to go above this high, but guess what, sir? It has traded above this high. So that we call it a change of character. Or you can call it market structure shift, right? MSS. So we have the, our MSS somewhere around here. We have our MSS somewhere around here. So that's a shift. So the question you want to ask is, why didn't that shift happen somewhere here? Something like this. Look, look up, please. Why didn't that shift happen somewhere here, right? Because this is an uh, impulse to the downside, breaking of social to the downside. This is now, if you notice, stop here. It did not go above this high. Right, it stopped here before it started going down. So it's not happening here. So the reason why it's not happening here is because the strength is still very strong, pushing to the downside. But guess what? It happened here. So that means uh, there is a kind of weakness on the on uh, there's a kind of strength on the dollar right now, right? There is a kind of strength on the dollar because it was going down then because because before we have this uh, movement. Okay. Now please, I'm I'm uh, analyzing on each four time frame. Please don't get me wrong. Then later on, I'll go down to a lower time frame, like 30 minutes and, of course, uh, 15 minutes to look at for what is happening there, okay? So uh, this analysis covers for swing traders, and, of course, then we'll go down to the lower time frame it will cover for intraday and scalpers, okay? So I'll just use my Fibonacci there. So I'll draw from a point A to drag it to a point B, right? Follow me, please. For me, this point A, I'll drag to a point B. So we are expecting a retracement that will enter. So uh, after it shifts, right, the market normally goes through uh, retracements. And that retracement is giving you opportunity for a better price. Of course, a better price, if you want to buy, is a cheaper price, a lower price. So that is what the market is, is, is trying to give you. So the market is trying to trade lower, right? The market is trying to trade lower. And once it falls below my 50, 61.878 point uh 78.6 uh, that area is not a bad area to consider buying so all of this area right since from all of this area so the market is expected to trade inside this area before it started going up okay 
first are going so so for the fact that uh, it's retracing i mean it's trading towards the downside that suggests that we are seeing some weakness right so i'll go, go lower to h1 time frame so that we can see that weakness so to watch carefully there's a weakness here right there's a weakness here so we have some weakness here so we are seeing weakness in the dollar right on the lower time frame right so for us intraday traders scalpers we want to take advantage of that weakness now for those of us very familiar with uh, candlestick pattern right so you can see here we have a bearish engulfing here we also have a bearish engulfing which is fine and good so these are signs and, and signals that the market wants to trade lower but take note this market trading lower it just uh is not like you're going to trade lower for a long time right so USD going to, going to be weak. It's not going to be weak for a long time. So we can. So we are anticipating this move towards the downside. Take note. Very important. Okay. All right. Then. So that is what we're seeing on the dollar. Now let's confirm this same thing from uh, financialvisuals.com. Right. Financial visuals. For those of you joining us for the first time, let me switch over to. Now we are we have seen weakness. Please take note. We have seen weakness in the dollar. That's what analysis is all, all about. Trying to know if there is strength in a, in a currency or currency pair, or if there is weakness in a currency or currency pair. Please, that's what analysis is all about. Trying to know if there is strength in in an instrument or if there is weakness. So uh, let's confirm this same this same uh, weakness, right, in the dollar this morning from uh, financial visuals. So please follow me. I will share my screen again. Right, I hope I am carrying you guys along and you guys are really following me. All right, so let me share my screen again, quick one. So let's confirm that same movement from financial visuals. So I hope you can see my screen, right? So uh, let me do this again from, from the beginning. So you just type on your browser www.financialvisuals.com. I hope you can see this. It's called Finviz. So Finviz.com guys can you see this one person should just type uh i am following just type i'm following only one person please uh what i say to one i say to all one person should, should type i'm following let me be sure you guys are following thank you sir i can see you there mr sunday so uh so once you get to this website, uh, you can see this website, please. Now you click on this button called Forex. You can see my mouse pointer, Forex. Then it opens up for you. Then of course you click on performance at the top left. You can see my pointer, right? Performance. So we, we, we are trying to confirm the weakness we saw, right? Take note, please. We are trying to confirm the weakness we saw. The weakness we saw. So uh, once you get to performance, you, you'll see the one day relative performance, right? of the dollar against other major currencies right so from here you, you you can see that the currencies towards my left are the strong currency so this is like a currency meter okay so you can be using this for those of us scalping scalping the markets right so the majority of new traders are scalpers so so for those of us scalping the market you may want to be using this uh it is to show that you make enough profit using this i can tell you this for free yeah so uh the currency towards my right are the weak ones so dollar is weak right now as you can see so this is a confirmation of the analysis we just did right this is a confirmation of the analysis we just did that dollar is weak aud is strong as you can see so the currency towards my left are the strong currencies right all of these ones the ones towards my right are the weak ones so guys we have confirmed the weakness so that means we may want to trade against the dollar for this morning okay so the but that will be scalping please don't forget because this strength may not last that will be scalping now as you can see that the dollar has moved one place right that's moved from here to here so that will be scalping now even though on the higher time frame we have seen a shift don't forget please don't forget don't forget very important all right okay <laughs> sorry please what uh, the website is uh, finviz.com, guys. Yeah, that's it. All right, then. So um, let me continue. Thank you very much. So let me switch it again. So let's start our analysis from uh, Euro USD. So let's look at what Euro USD should be telling us. 
So I'll go to Euro USD, right? Now, please don't forget the analysis we did on the USD IDX, right? They, because all of the currency pair we are going to analyze, right? So it has, there is USD in it, okay? So it, that means they will be connected, they will be connected. Very important, please. They will be connected, okay? All right, so uh, let's look at Euro USD here. Yeah? So on Euro USD, now that same uh, shift we saw, that same shift, market structure shift we saw on the USD IDX, I think we are having the same shift here. So you will agree with me on this H4 time frame. This is push to the upside. This is retracement to the downside, very healthy for the market. And of, the, and of course, this is another push to the upside, right? Break up structure to the upside. This is another retracement. So, so the low that is responsible for taking out the high becomes a strong low. So this low is a strong low, right? So that means the market is supposed to respect this low. But guess what? There was a violation. The market, the market traded against or uh, below that low. Okay, that's that's a shift. So, but after that shift. Uh, you can see the market is trying to trade up again, right? So maybe the market is trying to give us a, a higher price, right? A premium price so that we can start doing the selling on the higher time to H4. Maybe, just maybe. Remember, one way to do it right is to do it wrong. So don't be afraid. Just maybe the market is trying to give us a, a, a much better price. So this, so this price is pushing towards... Uh, it has gone above 50 percent right equilibrium is pushing up towards this level right so uh because of this shift the market might just start trading downward might just start trading downward, downward right so uh what we are looking at for is to see if, uh, but if this movement successfully goes above this high then we are back we are back we are back to the upward momentum but if it trades below this low then of course there is a shift right? and the market started trading downward Okay. Now, now this is it for H4 time frame. Now, let me see what's happening on H1 time frame. Very important. And of course, I'll now switch over to my choice time frame. Okay. Now, you can see this uh, very fine movement we have here, guys. Very fine movement. Okay. So, nice one because I'm seeing bullish and golf here, another bullish and golf here. Okay. So, I would like to do a la. From what we saw, we saw some weakness in the dollar. I would like to take advantage of that weakness, okay? So I've, I've seen a bullish engulfing here, right? So after that bullish engulfing, I mean, this big uh, bullish candlestick is bigger than this red one. It's called bullish engulfing, okay? So uh, so I, I, might, I'm, I might want to wait for a retracement. So this is a sign, this is a sign that the market is trading upward, right? Now, I will now go to 15 minutes time frame. You all know that very well, right? 15 minutes time frame. So in this 15 minutes time frame is my entry time frame, right? So the time frame I would like to enter. Custom yeah. officers who have a lot yeah, of are following up this and right? Okay, so now I will want to wait for a retracement, right? Because retracement uh, is good, it's healthy. So I will want to wait for a retracement, something like this, before I can do my my buy. Of course, you know, if you retrace it like this, so you can see my two moving average, they are fanning up uh, very beautiful 21, of course, and 50. So, of course, if it retraces towards this level, right, something like this, look at this, please. Because if you look at this chart very well, you understand the way we analyze. So, there was a push upward like this, right? Then, of course, at this point, should you buy it? No, you should wait for retracement. This is the retracement. So, those that entered buy here are those that will enjoy this uh dividends of democracy <laughs> and in this profit <laughs> all right so so we are around here okay because see now see this bullish uh, golf here so the same thing please the same thing if you look at the chart there where you receive wisdom on how to analyze the market right it's so simple guys it's so simple guys but you have but you have to be consistent on it so uh so look at this retracement so we're expecting a retracement so if the market comes around this area so quickly, you want to do a buy around this area, guys, so that we can be fast. You want you want to do a buy around this area, right? So this area, so you can see my my mouse pointer hovering there, 1.09225 to 1.09280. So around this area. So if the market is retracing around this area, you want to do a buy. Remember, this is for uh, intraday scalpers, right? So a buy around this area, stop loss can be here, right? 
surplus can be there or, or stop loss can, can be here so two places you can use a stop loss depending on your risk tolerance right and of course you can use the same distance as your take profit so buy around this area so that would be a buy limit buy limit around this area right so now that's for euro usd so you guys are following right hello everyone are you guys still following yes we are following thank you sir <laughs> danny i can see you there all right so uh a replacement towards this area i can do a buy here yeah? now please ask for you go usd uh but don't forget the analysis we did don't forget don't forget the analysis we did on the h4 time frame right so we have seen a shift we have seen a shift that shift means this instrument might might just start trading downward right Mm, for a long term, please don't forget. Now uh, let me do GBP USD very fast. Uh, this uh, this is already 832, and this is when we want to start GBP USD. But guess what? Uh, the analysis we have done, the explanation we have done, I'm sure uh, is to equip you, right? Is to equip you so that uh, on your own you can be able to be doing some small small analysis by yourself. Okay, which is very good. All right, so. Now, okay, you're asking Benson, you're asking entry point for swing, right? For swingers. Okay, let me give you entry point for swing. Now, for the swing, please, for the swing, uh, you don't want to do a buy for the swing, right? Mm. You want to do a sell because this IDX, this I, this USD IDX might just retrace for me and start going upward. So if it's retracing for me and start going upward, you go USD on the H4 time frame. I'm trying to answer you now. Uh, Euro USD might just start trading downward, okay? okay so this is daily. So Euro USD for the swing, please. This one nice for the swing, okay? So for the swing, if the market can uh, pump up now, it, it has gone above 50, which is good, very fine, fantastic. So, so if the market can just uh, trade inside this area for the swing, guys. So swing traders in my own to take advantage if it trades around this area, right? Now, now that would be for a fair, please. For swing, this area. I'm sure you, you can see this area, right? So around this area, you can start doing the set. So that means you wait for a much premium price. So if you pump up inside this area, by that time, they, those, those on a daily time frame, sorry, uh, those intraday traders, they must have seen some, some profit on their buy. So before you now start taking the sell from here downward, Okay, so now that's for you. Uh, Someone is asking what is swing trader. Wonderful. <laughs> then see, I can see you there. Thank you. Uh, a swing is a swing trader is someone that can uh, is is one swing of the market is a movement of price uh, that moves in a particular direction for a longer time, right? That longer time can be for a, a, a day, two days, three days, four days, five days. So a swing trader is someone that. That, that that actually want to trade in that direction, right? They want to stay longer on the market, right? Of course, those that stay longer on the market, they make bigger profit. And of course, they have bigger capital. They have bigger capital, please. Don't forget that. So, and so, uh, so the analysis is on the higher time frame, right? All right, so uh, time is running really very fast. Time is running really very fast. So, GP USD very fast so that we can look at gold. And of course, OE, the indices. Okay, please. Uh, on on uh, GP USD. Now, please don't forget on this H4 time frame. This is the low that must be taken out before we can say we have we have uh, experienced a change, a, a change in the market direction or a market structure shift. So this is the low. So if you notice in recent time, the market has been the man the, the market has successfully created uh what we call a local support here so the market created the support by itself so this the first time it traded to this level it bounced off right the second time it traded to this level it bounced off the third time it traded to this level is bounced off so that's what we call local support there right now what actually gives value to the support is because once traders 
once a uh, trader sees uh, a support, right? So they so they want to now start buying on the support, right? So that buy on the support increases demand on top of the support. So that is where uh, the momentum comes in and pushes the price up. So it's, so it simply means if this price can trade again towards this level, I will still want to do a buy, right? Because the higher time frame, right? So my directional bias is still bullish. So if you can trade on top of this support, I will still want to do a buy. Guys, you can see this, right? So it bounced up the first time, second time, the third time, the fourth time. Because see my structural low. My structural low is still being respected, right? And protected. The structural low is still being respected and protected. So that will give me more confidence to want to do a buy from here. Okay. So 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 it means, but remember on this uh H4 time frame, this is our target liquidity right don't forget the target liquidity is resting above the highs so let me highlight here so the target liquidity is resting above the high so anytime the market is on an upward trend the target is always above the previous high right so that means it can do all of these things as as an internal structure and maybe by the end of the day please when i say end of the day i don't mean today okay because this is h4 time frame. so it, it might take some time for you to trade above this level okay so but uh for intraday traders which we are right now so we might be seeing this instrument trading to tap this area okay so let me go down to one hour and see what we're having there one hour and see what we're having there okay so please so you can see that line i do on the h4 time frame so so you may want to also do a you may want to also do a buy limit here yeah? just like i gave you on euro usd a buy limit here yeah? so if this instrument can trade inside this choice and of course choice area or if you like point of interest so because this is the point that interests us the most why because buyers are massively waiting here to buy okay you're asking what's the take point for euro usd okay so that take that stop loss i gave you can do times one of that stop loss or times two of the stop loss for the take profit so that is how we do it okay so once you have your stop loss times one times two can be used as your take profit oh so if the market can trace uh, retrace inside this area i want to do it by so let me look at what 15 minutes time frame I have to say same thing same thing guys it does not change same thing so you wait you wait for a replacement so we do a lot of waiting on the market mm -hmm. but on this 15 minutes time frame uh because remember we 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 check that uh, financial visuals we saw strength in the pounds i'm sure you can remember we, we saw strength in the pounds so let me check it again because it's acting as our as our currency meter here so, so so we saw some strength in the pound so because the pounds is uh is stronger right now right than the dollar mm -hmm. so a buy on gp usd would not be bad but we're only waiting for a much cheaper price what we call a discounted price okay so that's what we saw there so now please you may want to wait to this level right for the buy but uh, for the aggressive guys, for the aggressive guys, so I'm going to give you two entries here, right here. So because see my moving average here, right? So you can see that uh, we have a crossover here. So if it re retraces inside here, so I'll give you two entry. So this is a, this is my first entry here. Then of course this is my second entry. Remember this second en entry is the best, right? Because this area is a strong support. Don't forget this second entry remains the best because we saw the same entry on h4 time frame we saw it on h1 time frame and now we are seeing the same entry this one and this one are moving right now we are seeing the same entry on 15 minutes time so it's actually a very strong level but however however you can still do a very fast uh buy here if the price trade inside this uh the, in between these two moving average right the price trade in between the two moving average so you can do an aggressive entry remember anytime you want to do aggressive entry then you have to reduce your loss size okay reduce your loss size all right so uh so that means if you do that uh, we are looking at uh taking it oh, oh sorry So 
So if you do that, so we are looking at taking the price from this level up for another break of structure, right? Another break of structure here. So if it comes inside here, you may want to do a buy. So perhaps you want to cut your loss size into two and do a buy here. So if it falls down lower, you may want to complete it here. Or you can just wait if it gets towards this level, do your buy. I hope you guys are following. So that means if you do a buy here, your 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 take profit will just be above this high, right? So remember it's capping, right? Your take profit will just be above this high. So this area will be your take profit. So if you're buying here at this price, right? You can see I'm trying to show you the price, your take profit will have to be here. Mm -hmm. Of course, your stop loss we have we have to be above this uh, this our uh, verified support here. Your stop loss we have to be here. All right, so that's for GBP USD. Uh, let me look at some questions we have. Say so please analyze USD card, Euro AUD US hundred. Wow, <laughs> please do AU, AUD US. Emmanuel, I can see you there. Name sake. So let's do AUD USD. So before that AUD USD, we saw we have seen strength in uh, watch this place. We have seen strength in AUD, right? So you can see that AUD has some strength here, right? In fact, it's it's, it's the strongest currency at the at the moment, right? So against the dollar. So that means automatically, if AUD is here, the dollar is here. It means AUD US AUD being the base currency, the instrument will be pumping and pushing towards the upside, right? To be pumping, so it will be going up. So even before opening, even before opening the chart, we can tell that AUD USD on H1 time frame, M30, M15, it should be pumping up, it should be trading towards the upside. So if it's trading towards the upside, now let me, uh, excuse me. So if it is trading towards the upside, it means uh, AUD USD here. Yeah. Okay, this year is JPY is so beautiful. Oh. Hmm? The market today is just wonderful, man. So, uh, AUD USD should be trading towards the upside on lower time frame, right? So, uh, this is H4 time frame. I'm trying to honor your request in man way. So, so this is H4 time frame. Right, you can see this right H4 time frame. So on the H4 time frame, what can we deduce from here, sir? We can deduce or uh, what what we can see here is now uh pardon me, I like to do it from H4 time frame, okay? So we saw uh a movement here, we saw a shift, and immediately the market broke every other thing and went down again. Mm -hmm. So this is downward movement because this 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 is the high that broke this low. So this becomes the strong high. So this is supposed to be a strong high, not weak resistance. So this, this, this is supposed to be a strong resistance from the market structure perspective. Okay. So right now we are seeing a retracement to the upside, right? Now it, it, it gave some consolidation before it started retracing. Well, if you look at uh, So if you look at uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes time frame, so uh, this is uh, this is 30 minutes time frame. Okay, let's do H H1 first. So this, this is H1 time frame. From what we can see here, right? So we have seen we have seen a push to the upside. So so this place we are. The market got this big impulsive move. That's what they normally call order block. Mm -hmm. So the market, so that means there's a big for the fact that so for the fact that it was from here, the market is really moving upwards. So this is can be called an order block. It means there is a very large pool of orders here. Buy orders, please. So that means if the market can tap this area again, I want to do a buy. Are you with me? 
if the market can tap this area again, tap the liquidity inside the area, I want to do a buy. Right? So that means it's, I'll wait for a much cheaper price if I can buy it. And of course, if you buy it, it's usually the best kind of trade because it gives you a very tight stop loss. Right? And of course, a, a good risk to return ratio. So your buy will be inside here, inside this area, inside this other block here. And of course, your stop loss will not be below these lows. So you can see that for some time, the market has been struggling to trade below this area. Yeah, so that's where you set your stop loss. Remember, the way we start set the, the way we set stop loss, right? The psychology of setting stop loss is to hide it. So you want to write it down somewhere. You hide the stop loss. That means you keep your stop loss in a place where it will be difficult for the price to get there because you don't want the price to hit your stop loss. And of course, you expose the take profit. You want to write it down. You expose the take profit. So that means you keep your take profit in a place where it will be easy for the price to get there. Very important. Okay, so uh, so if this is where your stop loss would be, then your take profit can be that same distance or times two of it. Why not? Because uh, you may want to put it up here because this becomes our target point. Now, this for this one, right? So this is a conservative analysis. So let me give you a more aggressive analysis. A more aggressive analysis, okay, you can use uh, which time will permit us. So you can use uh, your Fibonacci and draw from this low right you draw from this low to this high so if the market if this market can trade below 50 percent i'll start doing the buying from there right remember the, what we are doing right here right here we are trying to trade the retracement to the upside because the h short time frame is going down we are trying to trade the retracement because we have seen we have seen this struggle here, these choppy choppy candles, right? So that means there is a very strong support holding the price right here. So the price may just start trading up. And then to confirm that as a way of confluence, so we can see that the price gave a very big impulsive move up here. Okay. So for you now, if the price trade is for you for AUD USD, if it trades inside just below my 50 P cents, I'll inside this. Okay, let me shade it for you. If the market can trade inside this area, I will want to do an aggressive entry with the buy. Please, stop loss will still be the same thing. Take profit will still be the same thing. Uh, I hope you get you got that understanding. Wow, <laughs> um, I think that's uh, this analysis is for you requested for it, and I've been able to honor it. So enjoy the profits. Now, okay, now that's for AD USD. Now let me look at the chat room and get some questions. So okay, fine, Angela, you are asking. So in a situation like this, can we do buy limit? Of course, you can do buy limits. You can do buy limits. You can do buy limits. Limit, okay. So if you're here, and you don't know how to do buy stop, sell stop. Please I have a video. We have a video for you. Okay. So you can just chat uh, chat me up. I'll drop my number. You're here. You cannot set stop loss. You cannot set uh pending orders buy stop sell stop buy limit sell limit you can just chat me up at the end i will give you a video for that or you can just go straight to our website our youtube channel you'll see a video there uh go to youtube just type rally trades you will see a video there okay now please you can do a buy a buy limit here you can even do two buy limits you can do buy limit here and of course do another buy limit here and then just allow the price to give you a much cheaper price no, we have not done good, please. We have not done good. Ernest, I can see you there. We have not done good, please. Mm. Everybody is trying to put their question at the same time. Mm. Okay. Uh, let me take another question, please. Uh, for this person here, he said, analyze USD card and Euro AUD. Okay, let me just pick one. Let's do USD. Let's do USD card. Or let's just, let's do Euro AUD. Which one now? Mm. All right, so let's just do Euro AUD because we have been doing USD, USD, USD. Let's do Euro AUD. So uh, Euro AUD there. I think after this one, we just jump straight to gold, right? 
after this one we jump straight to code so this is Jugo AUD on the H4 time frame this is Jugo AUD on the H4 time frame please I hope I hope you guys are setting those spending orders so this is Jugo AUD on the H4 time frame so on uh, Jugo AUD on the H4 time frame you can see that this instrument is trading towards the upside right so the trend is up the trend is up the trend is up now if the trend is up uh, we can go down to a h1 time frame so that we can see things more more clearly okay so this instrument is situated towards upside right because this is the last uh, break of structure this is the last uh, strong low here responsible for taking out this high hey, you you the please i'm trying to do this one this is the last low responsible for taking out this high right so the market that is retraced to this level it's a very fine retracement because uh, i think this retracement has protected or is trying to honor is trying to to respect this low right and instead of trading up so that means the target liquidity will be above this high the target liquidity will be above this high so if the market can 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 trade above this high right so that's what we're looking at so you go use my just you go AUD rather might just trade more up towards the upside like this why am i saying so is because at this level right so this is where it retraced so let's see why why it actually retraced here so I'll draw from this low Fibonacci. You ask for Fibonacci. This I'm using it right now. I draw from the low. Why? Why did I pick this low? I'm not this low because it was this low that took out this high. So I'll draw from this low to this high. So you can see that this particular place where where it retraced, right? It's just around our 61.8. So which means it's a good retracement. It's a good area to retrace. And I said start trading upward again. So the target will just be this high, right? So that means I want to look for look out for now. This is where I supposed to start the buy. So around there, you should have been taking profit for intraday, right? But if you want to wait till it gets here, that's that will be for for, for you have to stay longer on, on the market. Okay. So let me look at 15 minutes time frame to see what we can get from there. So 15 minutes time frame to see what we can get there. Guys, I hope all of you are following this analysis. So, so, th so this would have been the best place for the buy. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. So, if you buy here, you may, it may just be, a, uh, it may just be very aggressive. Why? Because we have seen enough movement to the upside. So, for you that asks for you with AUD, if you have a buy trade already, you please leave that trade uh, running, please. If you have a buy trade already, you want to leave that trade running, okay? You want to leave that trade running. So see what you do. So uh, this my my moving averages are fifty and twenty one. So you may want to put fifty and twenty one moving average on your chart. So a time will come when the a, a time will come when the slow moving average twenty one will cross will cross the fifty period, right? So once that happens, then you can start doing your buy. I hope you understand what I mean. So now look up here. You can see that this green is 21 is it, is above the the blue right which is 50 so once so that seems to have a pull here again so once this green crosses above this this blue then you more you want to start doing the buy so that means the buy so this market might just do something like this and of course now do a retracement now at that point the green must have crossed above the blue so that's why you want to do your buy so you are buying please you're buying. So you're buying. You're buying. So I, I can see you there, Franco. Thank you very much. So how do you do that, Fibonacci? You just pick it up and draw, please. Oh my God. Okay, fine. So I think we are doing. Uh, you guys are following very well. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's do uh, gold, please. Time is really running very fast. So time is running very fast. So let's do gold, please. So let me look at gold. So on this gold right here, on this gold right here, on the H4 time frame, you can see that gold is uh, is still bearish, guys. Gold is still bearish. That's the first thing you want to know. 
so every time you want to trade the first thing you want to do is to get your bias get your bias get your bias and that bias is called directional bias okay so so now the reason for getting a bias is so that you can be firm your decision can be strong whether to buy or to sell no it's not that anybody that just whispered to you buy you buy say you say no no you should have a bias okay mm -hmm. so you should have a bias mm, the bias keeps your feet very strong on the ground okay no, remember a double-minded man, right? It's the guy that is shaking. So once you have a bias, you will not be shaking again. So quickly, uh, since this is this is still trading down on the H4 time frame, you can see confirm with my moving average uh, fanning downward. So I will go to uh, lower time frame, right? Now this lower time frame is for uh, intraday traders. So let's see what we can do. Remember. Uh, support and resistance very important so gold has really on the lower time frame gold has really been trading sideways on the lower time frame gold has really been trading sideways uh, this is what I mean so it, it has been going through this range right so look at this range gold has been going through this range so anytime you anytime you catch a range on the market you want to take advantage of it so what do you do you only trade at the resistance and support of that range okay you don't trade at the middle you don't trade at the middle you don't trade at the middle very important so what do you do you wait until it trades up to this area you can do a sell or you wait until it trades down to this area you can do a buy now this is what we are seeing on the h1 time frame we are seeing a range we are seeing a range right we are seeing a range so if i move to 15 minutes time frame what can we clearly see there? Same thing, please. Same thing. So, so you want to do what we call waiting. Remember, in this business, waiting is trading. You may want to write it down. Okay? <laughs> you, may want, you may want to write it down. In trading, waiting is trading. Uh, in this business, waiting is trading. So, you may want to wait. And of course, waiting is profitable, right? So you may, you may want to wait until good uh, pumps lower towards this uh, verify support here before you can do a buy. Or if it pumps higher towards the verify resistance. So, so let me show you the area. So the area is here. So around this area. So 1934 to 1932 around this area please you can start doing your selling so so around this area you want to do a sell limit and of course here you want to do a buy limit 1921 to 1922 okay please don't forget so now that's for gold time is really running very fast Okay, uh, let's do US 100. So many persons are, are, are US 100. So let's do... So let's do US 100, please. US 100, guys. US 100, please. Um, okay, I have US 100, yeah. So this is US 100 here, yeah? right? So this instrument has been pumping upward until in recent time we have been seeing some that been slowing down, right? That been slowing down. So uh, this instrument trading towards the downside. Please take note: this instrument trading towards the downside, like this, indicates that the dollar is gaining strength, right? I started gaining strength, and of course, if we saw from the USD IDX, we saw from USD IDX on the H4 time frame that the dollar have shifted. Don't forget this, please. We saw that the dollar, right? The dollar have done a market structure shift. Don't forget this, please. So that means we might just start seeing this instrument pumping and trading upward. Remember what we we started with this analysis. Don't forget. 
we might see this instrument start doing something like this don't forget this please in fact this 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 particular um session is being recorded so you can go back and watch again so that means uh for us on the us hundred For US home, it should start trading down. And that's what it is, is, is already doing. It should start trading down. So we saw this big uh, this big uh, move towards the downside, right? So you can see this big move here. So this is uh, this big bearish candle covering this bullish candle is called bearish engulfing, right? So what actually caused this engulfing? So we might see some reasons there so there might be an other block here so let me go down to a lower time frame uh 15 minutes or 30 minutes will serve okay so so you see where it actually pushed downward from right so this is it so this is this was where so this was where it actually pushed downward from from here so the bullish candle before that move so it just cycled the old area so and of course uh you you can see that uh, there there was a range right can you see how everything is just connected there was a range before that move so and i was trying to cycle this move okay so so if this instrument trade inside this area i would still want to do a sell right mm -hmm. i would still want to do a sell take note that you can see this trend line right this trend line is funny down very beautifully so if this instrument trade inside this this area i want to do a sell so that means i don't want to sell now i'll wait until this price give me something like this <clears throat> so you can see that it's actually a very big area right so that means you can enter two two or three times inside it yeah like like you can spread it right so you can do a sell here you can do another sell here right you can spread it like that so i mean you can do 0 0.02 here or 0 0.01 to another 0 0.01 you can just shift it it's called stacking up the trade right it's called stacking up the now it is there is a lot of wisdom in doing that right a lot of wisdom in doing that now but uh, for those of us that want to take advantage those of us that want to take advantage of uh So for those who that want to take advantage of this move upward, right? Because you can take advantage of this move upward. So before you do that, you must have a, a, a market structure uh, shift or what we call change of character. So we have not seen that. So you may you may still want to wait. Okay. So see what see what see, see what I mean. Uh, we we have this movement to the downside, right? So we have this impulse to the upside. So we have also another movement to the downside, right? So that's a change of a uh, break of structure there. So you can see this, this was the last high that took out this low. So the market has not taken out this high. So it just, so that means you are waiting. So if the market takes out this high, right? Something like this, just please follow me, please. If the market takes out this high, I mean, if the market trade above this high, something like this. And of course it has to do a retracement something like this and uh -huh. somewhere here that's where you can start doing your buying to enter inside here okay i'm sure you follow that and that's where you can start doing your buying to enter inside here okay for those of you that want to buy inside here, but the analysis is uh, because this instrument is trading downward you want to do a sell from here right so if you do a sell from here your take profit will have to be if you sell here your take profit will have to be just below this low hmm? This is first take profit. Then of course this is take second take profit. I'll drop my phone number, okay? So I was saying, uh, let, let me just repeat what you guys miss. I was saying this is where we are to start doing our selling from, right? On US hundred, on US hundred, right? So you have to wait until the price trade inside this area before you can sell. You have to wait, okay? Remember, I said waiting is profitable. Waiting is uh, trading. Don't forget, please. So wait until the price is trade inside this area before you can start doing your selling. Now, but for those of you that want to take advantage of that move towards that area, so you you don't want to start doing the the 
the buying from here you want you have to wait until you can see a sign that the market is actually, is, is actually uh pushing upward and that sign is we call it change of character okay so or we you we call it a, a, a impulsive move so see what i mean so this is a movement to the downside this is replacement to the upside now it moved down and took out this low to form a new low so somewhere so right now the market is here it has not gone above this high so if the market trade above this high is the first sign that the market is about to go up so if you have to wait until this price trade above this high and of course if it does that something like this line you have to wait for a retracement before you can enter the buy too. so the inside here should be your take profit inside this area should be your take profit now that's for uh us 100 and it's already past nine guys so we should be running up by now okay we didn't cover a lot of instrument but then the little ones we cover i think uh we are we are not just giving you entries we are we are we are telling you how we are getting it right so that on your own you can even analyze those instruments you want to do uh you want to trade so let me do d30 the last one you have requested for it so you have requested for d30 so you are uh, richard you ask if you can buy nine no no the answer is no please wait until for richard wait until for t for us 100 wait until we can see a change of card i mean until the market trade above this high if not it will, it will just be a fake out right until the market trade above this high we trace again then before you can do it by please please that's what you do okay all right you guys are good you guys are following so d30 quick one uh the last one d30 so on d30 uh let's see what d30 is doing on the d1 time frame so we are having uh the market is raining bearish to the downside right bearish to the downside so we have series of red candles one two three four five six seven for seven straight days the market has been trading downward wonderful so on the h4 time frame let's see what we have there so the market is trying to rest a little bit here right that's what we can deduce here of course clearly this market have changed uh, I've already done a change, a, a shift, right? Because this was the low that should not be taken out. But guess what? It has been violated. So this low has been taken out. So the market is already trading downward, please. So that means for 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 swing traders, if you have a sell trade, you may want to still leave it open to make more profit, please. You may want to still leave it open to make more profit, okay? Don't forget that, please. Now, for swing traders, then for intradays, let me look at H1 time frame, then I'll do 15 minutes quick one. For H1 time frame, so we already seen a bearish and golf year, right? We are seeing a bearish and golf year. And that bearish and golf is happening at my uh, 21 and 50 period moving average. So this would be a good time to do a sell. This would be a good time to do a sell, right? So this would be our first uh instant so this would be a good time to do a sell here so that would be a sell there so uh then your take profit has to be on this area right take profit has to be here then of course this stop loss have to be just above this high so this this this, this is just uh one is the one right As you can see it's just one is so one so now the reason is the market is trading massively downward that's number one then number two we are seeing a bearish and coffee here right so that means the last period the sellers took the market away from the buyers that's the meaning right okay so that's for now please this this is just uh what, what i call it now this is just for uh scalpers right in their days okay because it's very short now for the long term for the swing trade on the h4 time frame you may want to wait for a good retracement okay so if i'm to draw my move the market structure movement you can see a low here and of course this is sorry and this is retracement towards the upside right then of course it has pushed both this structure to give us a new low so the market will be trying to, to do another retracement, which it has done. As you can see, it has already done that, right? So how much retracement is a good retracement? The answer to that question is to use Fibonacci.
So with Fibonacci here, uh, the market has already traded above 61.8. So both swing traders and uh, uh, intraday traders, you can do a sell, right? And put your stop loss just above this level. So guys, I think this is where we do the cutting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for staying with me. It's one hour already. So uh, let me just drop my number. When I do two six two six five zero seven. Emmanuel. So uh, guys, may the market be with you. Thank you very much. So please, uh, in jo just in case you miss, you can do well to join us to check uh, uh, YouTube. Just type Rally Trade on YouTube, search for Rally Trade on YouTube, you'll see the same uh, session, of course, being recorded. Okay? So you watch the recorded uh, version. Thank you, guys. Bye for now.